Three Carroll University students are taking a semester off this year, but not by choice. They got suspended for throwing a party during the pandemic. Fox 6's Evan Peterson joins us live now on campus with why they say they feel the punishment does not fit the crime. Hey there, Stephanie. Yeah, typically when you think of college parties, some of the things that come to mind are underage drinking, possibly OWIs, and just general drunkenness. But these students, they didn't have any of that at their party. Instead, what got them in trouble is they breached the university's code of conduct. On the night of August 21st, we had a small get together with a uh, few friends. We all invited a few people over. For these three Carroll University upperclassmen, a return to school meant the opportunity to catch up with old friends. But what started off as a small get together started to get a little out of hand, to, like up to 20 people quickly became a problem. I was on the basketball team, but I was obviously kicked off because of this. It was this single photo snapped by a neighbor that got the party's hosts suspended from the school for an entire semester. In the rules or in the code, code of conduct, they state that they are not going to give us our tuition back uh, for suspensions. So we kind of got to make up those 10,000 plus dollars that we lost in the um, suspension. In a statement sent to us by the university's vice president of student affairs, it says in part, quote, all Carroll University students were required to sign a supplemental code of conduct agreement pertaining to COVID-19. Any student who fails to live up to that code can face sanctions up to and including suspension. We did sign some, we initialed a few things uh, that they sent out like via email about on-campus guidelines wearing masks and just other on-campus things and never said anything about off-campus. The students admitted to being aware of gathering restrictions being limited to 10 people, but they didn't think it applied to them off-campus. The students appealed the decision but it was denied. We didn't violate any legal matters or anything, so uh, I think that they were pretty unfair in their uh, punishment. As they collectively try to figure out how to spend their newfound free time, this one has a warning to his classmates. Like, hey, don't make the same decision that we did. Now, the students you just heard from say they, and only they, the hosts of the parties, were suspended for an entire semester. Those who attended their party, their friends, well, they just had to quarantine for two weeks, and they were allowed to go back this semester and finish up their classes. Reporting here in Waukesha, I'm Evan Peterson, Fox 6 News. Sounds like there might eventually be attorneys involved here. All right, Evan, thank you.